Hello, my name is Rachel and I love getting things in the mail. <laughs> and wouldn't you know it, while I was filming my other video on this company, Timu, <laughs> my first order showed up because as I, I mentioned in that video, the, the order that I was showing you was actually my the first or order to show up, but the second order I placed. <laughs> But I, I'm I'm still going to publish them even though I'm ending up filming them both on the same day because <laughs> it just it got dropped off while I was filming. <laughs> I'm still going to do them in the order of that smaller order first then this one just because I was talking I talked about it so much in there I don't feel like I'm trying to edit it in such a way that that doesn't seem like it shouldn't be the first one. So I'm still going to be doing that other order as the first one. I'm still wearing the dress from it because, I mean, it was literally as soon as I got done filming and I was getting ready to get everything cleaned up, I got the notice, person at your door, and I was like, ah, what is that? And I go, and it's the other package. <laughs> But this was the larger of the two orders. It was the first order I made. I, I believe I mentioned Vessel of Blood made me do this. This is all Vessel of Blood's fault <laughs> because I watched her video on it, which I'll link down in the description box below. And then she had a 40% off coupon and her 40% off coupon was good for up to $40 worth of stuff. So I bought the whole $40 worth of stuff to, to take full advantage of the coupon. And then once I placed this order, they emailed me and they're like, here's a code for you to share with friends. And if they use your code, you both get a 40% off coupon. But that one was only good for up to $25 worth of stuff. And it didn't say that anywhere. I just, I kept adding stuff to my cart and then realizing the discount wasn't going anymore. So I kept removing stuff from my cart until I got to the point where the, the discount worked for everything in the cart and not just a portion of it. And then I realized that limit was $25, <laughs> which was kind of weird. Um, and if I can find that code again, I don't know if that was like a one-time code I got or if I get to use that code for referrals all the time. <laughs> or uh, do I get a new one? Because I, I wasn't paying attention when I placed the second order. So I don't even know if I got a different code the second time to share with friends. But I'm still going to put my code down there. If if my code doesn't work or if this, or go check out Vessel of Blood if you'd rather use her code. Uh, hers is an affiliate code. If hers doesn't work anymore, you can come back here and use my code. And my code might work for up to... Because her code will work up to $40 or at least it did for me. And my code uh, only worked up to $25 or at least for me. I don't know if the person I gave it to also had capped at $25. But anyway, <laughs> enough about all of that. <laughs> I had been advertised a lot by them on Facebook. It looked like, to me, it looked like it was akin to Wish. And then once I saw Vessel of Blood's video, she did mostly clothes, but I, I, I felt like that was... That idea that I had was strengthened. I felt like this is more like Wish than it is like Shein. Only they have a central warehouse, so you don't have to pay shipping for each individual item. So you're not buying a $2 pair of earrings and then paying $6 because of the added shipping fee. And then that happening to every single item. Even if you buy, bought two items from the same seller, they wouldn't combine shipping. It would be two separate shipping <laughs> prices for each of those items. So I do like that where there's no weird hidden thing like that. It's... Uh, and I did get free shipping on this order as well because they were having a, because uh, they're a new site. So they were having like, a, you know, new site grand opening type special with the free shipping. And then I had the coupon code, which gave me the 40% off. So <laughs> I did go a little, a little crazier on this. This was, like I said, was the first order, even if I received it second. I, there was, is again, only one piece of clothing in here because I just feel like their clothing is, is more Wish quality. And I'd never gotten a decent piece of clothing off of Wish. Although this dress, which is from them, isn't bad at all. I actually do like this dress. Uh, the, the dress itself, I feel like, is pretty decent quality. It even has a nice hemmed edge. A lot of times, these inexpensive dresses have, like, the raw edge. The, the harness is, you know, your standard fake leather quality. Uh, it needs a little bit of tweaking. I need to tighten the chain just a touch, uh, which shouldn't be a problem with a pair of pliers. And I want to get rid of these two spikes. But enough about what I got in the last order. And I'll put my video up in the cards that I did for that second order that was the first I received. So you can get the full description of everything I got and be talking about this dress. But let's, let's get into this one now. I'm so excited. <laughs> and... We'll start with that one piece of clothing because it's the largest thing in here. And this is just a sweatshirt. And honestly, this is already better quality than I thought it would be. It's not great. Don't get me wrong. It's not fabulous. 
but it's actually a touch nicer than I thought it would be. It had this really cool print, which reminded me of a Killstar print. This fabric has a weird feel to it. It's like, like a sweatshirt material. It's got like the really soft fleecy inside. I like that. But the outside has that weird cheap fabric feel to it. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like really cheap sweatshirts from like Shein or any of these other Asian sites but it's not bad it's not bad at all it's like I said much nicer than I expected it to be it has a cute little moon pool and then it, it has this hood that has a little sheer layer to it and however I, I can tell that this is sort of a cheap imitation of the item they actually showed because I felt like the item they actually showed had a two layer hood where it was actually a whole layer of the sheer with the other hood over top of it. It just looked had more of that look than just a piece of sheer <laughs> sewn on there at the edge. But still, it's got cute print on it. The hood's not a terrible size because again, sometimes when you get these <laughs> inexpensive Asian clothing though the hood would be super tiny I had a dress like that where the hood was just like barely could fit on my head but this does look like a somewhat decent sized hood the the printing is a is that screen printing when you can actually feel the texture rubberized on top I think that's screen printing um, it has a slightly thick uh, belled cuff which I think the uh, the one that they showed photos of had a much larger version of that belled cuff now I did they only had it in up to a size large. Like most of their clothing, especially in this, the alternative, the few alternative, because they don't have a huge selection of alternative Gothic clothing. And the few items they did have, the largest size they came in was a size large. So just wanted to make a really quick correction. Apparently this is a two extra large, which makes sense <laughs> because a two extra large is definitely uh, my Asian size. It's the size I always have to order from Dress Lily. So <laughs> that makes sense that it fits me. It's not a large, it's a two extra large. This dress, however, was just a large and, and the measurements were a touch small, but it still fit me okay. Um, but yeah, no, this, this actually was a two extra large. So if this is this, cause they had a several sweatshirts kind of from this line like that were very similar to this. So just something to keep in mind. They are, I'm normally uh, large to extra large. So definitely size up because this fit me just spot on. Uh, if it had been any smaller, I don't think it would have fit. So yes, this was a two extra large. <laughs> I just wanted to to uh, correct myself on that because I thought both pieces of clothing were a size large. I guess I, I just need to see if this fits real quick. Let me just put it on over what I'm wearing. The inside does feel super nice though. I will give it that. Even though it is a pretty thin material, the inside is super, super soft. It's just so fleecy and soft. It feels really good on the skin. <laughs> so let's see here. Can I actually zip this up? Will it actually fit me? And it does fit me. Okay, awesome. So it's just, you know, like I said, just a cute little sweatshirt. Pretty neat design printed on it there. Here is our hood. So yeah, I think this is pretty cute. And that's all I'm doing for the try on for that because it's just that one sweatshirt. That's all the clothing that I got. But I'm actually, I did not expect it to be as decent as it is. It's not super high quality, but it was $10. <laughs> so for $10, I think that was a win. I'm actually, like I said, I'm, I'm I expected it to be so much worse. <laughs> I expected it to be like that super thin satiny material that they always do with that swimsuit feel with the and then have the print on it from there I really expected it to be like that but it's an actual real sweatshirt you know not the highest quality but super soft inside would actually keep you somewhat warm okay so off to a good start <laughs> and then the rest of the stuff was just accessories because like I said I was a little leery of the clothing simply because I was expecting wish quality and I would say so far these two things that I did get this dress in and this sweatshirt are better than anything I'd ever gotten off Wish. These are things I th I will actually wear. The things that I'd gotten off Wish, 
I would have never worn. <laughs> I was never going to wear. They were just that terrible. I, I, I wasn't going to return them either because they were dirt cheap and would have cost more to send them back. But I'm happy with, with this, actually. But again, I would still be a little leery of ordering clothing from them. They just, if you go to the website, you'll see what I mean. It just really has that wish clothing feel. And, <laughs> and I've just been burned by them so many times. But let's get on with this because the rest of it is accessories. And I don't really remember prices on most of this stuff, but I did get 40% off of it. None of it was expensive. So first up, this is just a bag of bags, <laughs> but they're, they're pretty bags. Let's see, And I, I forgot how many is in here. I don't know if it says easily, just gives the size, doesn't give me a quantity, but they are just these little holographic star clear Ziploc baggies. And I just got these to put jewelry in, um, you know, either as when I sell it because they're just prettier than just a regular Ziploc baggie or even when I'm putting together my uh, grab bags I, I do like to put the individual pieces into a little protective baggie uh, and and these came out to be so inexpensive <laughs> that they were would be feasible to do that with because you know and then they'd be prettier than just a normal little cheap Ziploc jewelry baggie so I did get those there's probably at least 50 there and again, I can't remember the prices. I'll try to remember to put screenshots up so you can see what the prices were. Um, I'm unsure if I'll be able to, if they have a website where I can go and copy links and paste them down in the description box like I do for she. And I might not do that for this simply because there's just so many things in here. I went, I think I got 17 items with my first order because it was like Wish where it was just like all these tiny little impulse items I couldn't stop myself from buying. Okay, so my first pen here, he's missing his cap, but he still has the little protective cap to protect him. I'm mean, guessing because the package was open, I'll find the cap somewhere in here, hopefully. But this was a pack of, a four pack of pens. They're pens, but they're so freaking cute. <laughs> But they, they are ballpoint pens. They all do have that little protective cap on them. Let's see, do I have paper anywhere? Can I get, oh, here's a pad of paper. Let's see if I can try one out and see if it writes. Woohoo! And they write just fine, but <laughs> they're just freaking adorable. You can see, that's what it looks like with the lid. This one, the gold one's missing its lid. I'm hoping it's somewhere in the bottom of the bag. But how cute are they? And, and honestly, these are the three colors I really like. I'm not, the gold is, eh, it's okay. I'm just not, gold isn't always my favorite. <laughs> but they were just so cute. And, and like I said, they weren't expensive. That was the problem with this stuff. It's like impulse shopping hell. <laughs> and I'm, I'm on a low buy. I'm not on a no buy. I'm on a low buy. But this order came to, after the discounts and everything, I think I paid 24 $25 maybe total for this order and then the other one I paid like $15 total so <laughs> they, they were not huge expensive orders but this one just has a lot of stuff in it and I got this pendant and I got this to add to one of my own creations because you know how I like to do that I like to buy their inexpensive because it's like a a, a focal point pendant like this at Michael's would be like five or six dollars but it was only like dollar fifty or two dollars <laughs> through here so that's why I do that there's so much in here also why I'm not going to like combine the videos or anything because this video is going to be super long as it is <laughs> okay oh this is just a little they had so many cute uh where are these uh, enamel pins and this is a little ghost cat holding down the sheet how cute is that oh if you're a fan of Wish, I think you will like this site. And then this was just like um, the 10 cords. They were like a dollar. And I like to include these um, when I sell my resin pendants at events. I sell the pendants. Like I don't always put the pendants onto full pieces of jewelry that I make. Sometimes I just sell the pendants individually for like, I just sell them for like $10 a piece. And then I include a free cord with them. You know, the intention is you'd put them on a nicer chain of your choosing but I always include that free cord so that you can wear it immediately oh this is another cute little pin it says I myself am anxious and confused how cute <laughs> I love their pins they have so many amazing pins and and like last time they once again included three of these weird gift cards like you scratch for a code 
type the code into the search bar and then I guess you get a free item, but it's only for new users. Like, I feel like the 40% discount codes would be better than whatever the free item is that they're trying to give you with these. But if anyone is interested in one of these cards and you're on Instagram, send me a message on Instagram and I'll be more than happy to drop it in the mailbox to you because I can put that in an envelope with a regular stamp. <laughs> so if you're interested in figuring uh, trying this and uh, but again, it is all for only new Temu app users. So if you haven't tried them yet and you want to give one of these a try, because I have six of them, <laughs> like I said, find me on Instagram and send me a message that you would like to try one of these cards. But I still feel like that 40% discount would be better than whatever free item they're trying to give you there. I don't know if you can do both. You might be able to do both. But apparently I got two of this pin. Because <laughs> here's another one. It's the... Uh, I myself am anxious and confused. <laughs> okay, and this is just a little ribbon necklace. But I thought it was really cute. And it was inexpensive. And when I put together my uh, grab bags for, because I do those $10 grab bags sometimes for events, uh, I like to supplement with things like this because it's the most of the stuff in the, in the grab bag will be like my overstocks and um, old stock that that I'm you know have had for too long and just want to move it along or a resin piece that maybe had a bubble or two too many in it so I also like to um, supplement with things like this because you know it's just a nice little nice little extra piece because each of those bags has five items in it and I need to to balance the the value versus uh, I still need to be able to make a profit selling them for only ten dollars so little inexpensive things like that make a nice addition without breaking the bank if that makes sense what else we got <laughs> I, I bought several sticker packs and this one is a I'm not going to show you all the stickers but as you can see bats so this is a sticker pack of uh, different bat stickers you guys know that I like to uh, include stickers with my correspondence or if you buy something from my Etsy, I always include a little baggie of stickers. So, oh, here's a, yet another <laughs> baggie of stickers. These are cat tarot card stickers. How freaking cute. But yeah, I'm not gonna open them up because there's just, we're, we're all, I'm already at like way too long. I'm already close to 20 minutes on this video. Hopefully I can cut a lot out of here. I don't know what I've been doing for 20 minutes. <laughs> But here is more of those cords, just in plain black. Oh, this is super tiny. I did not expect this to be this tiny. I bought this again to the necklace that I was going to steal the charm from, but I expected the charm to be bigger than this. This is itty bitty. <laughs> Look how tiny that is. I guess I just didn't realize it's a death head moth, but I guess I just didn't realize how tiny it was going to be. <laughs> But I can still use that. I can still add that to, to something that I create. But it's just so tiny. <laughs> Another, like, I think this one isn't all cats. I think this one is just like a witchy sticker pack. And the sticker packs were only a couple of dollars. Oh, this one is a double. <laughs> you see cute little Kawe stickers. <laughs> there is a second little ghost pin. He's just so cute. <laughs> Apparently I got two of each of those. Now I did get these two tarot decks. And they were like $4. And then of course the uh, discount on top of that. So they were less than $4. The reason I got these is uh, I make chainmail dice bags, but I also in the past have made chainmail tarot bags and when I sell the dice bags I like to include dice so I wanted to do the same for the tarot bags just to have a cute little inexpensive starter set inside the tarot bag warning for adult use only not designed or intended for children <laughs> guess they're afraid of kids getting paper cuts <laughs> but yeah so these are just the oh this is the the front of this one I was showing you the back but yeah so yeah, just two inexpensive tarot cards that I can add to my chain mail tarot bags that I now need to get around to making. <laughs> More stickers. Oh my God, I got so many stickers. Uh, what is this one? I can't even see any of the stickers in this one. They're covered up by that sticker. So let's just get an idea for them. 
Okay, so it's more just more of these types of stickers. Just brightly colored, fun, somewhat witchy. See a little... That one looks cute. So, what does that say? You are present. Are you here? Yes, no. Okay, so yeah, just so many stickers. <laughs> I couldn't resist, though. The prices were even better than the stickers I get on Amazon. <gasps> okay, so I found the uh, lid to our gold pen. Yay! <laughs> just so cute. Oh, the, the lid is cracked on this one. That's why it won't stay on. And sadly, the lid is cracked. So that one's just gonna pop off. But the other... The other th three pens in the set are all fine. Um, and they're just, it's just so cute. <laughs> uh, what else we got here? Something else that is actually a little bit smaller than I thought it would be. Um, still cute though, and I'm still gonna be able to use these wings for something. I bought it again just to take those wings and add them to something that I create. So I'll still be able to do that. But it's not incredibly tiny as you can see, but still I thought it was a little bit bigger from the, f like I guess I just wasn't a good judge. Well, I guess that's about, what it looked like in the photos. I'm just not a good judge of these things. <laughs> Again, a charm just for me to add to something. Wanted something a little more masculine. So I got this cleaver with the little skull on the end. And I think he's a bottle opener because of the way that that's shaped. I'm pretty sure he doubles as a bottle opener, which I think is pretty cool. And then I got these earrings so I could steal the charms and add them to my chainmail creations. I just thought those were really fun and awesome. The upside down pentagram goat head. Yeah. I feel like Killstar had something similar to that. But I thought that would be really nice to add to one of my creations. And then I got the exact same thing in black. And they have them packaged as a set of earrings. But I'm just going to turn them into necklace pendant charm things. They're a little bit heavy. I don't think I would enjoy wearing those as earrings anyway. And then I think, I think this is it. I think this is, we're down to the last item, finally. <laughs> Again, just a, uh, a charm. It comes with a necklace, but I wanted it for the charm to add to one of my creations. And it's a tree of life with the triple moon goddess symbol there at the bottom. So I thought that would make a really nice piece for one of my necklaces. So yeah, that's everything that I got in my first order from Temu, but was the second one to show up. <laughs> um, I'm, I would, I would think I would definitely order from them again, especially accessories. Uh, the clothing is a little bit better than I expected, but Shein clothing is still, in my opinion, for the most part, most of the things I've gotten from Shein have been much better quality than these couple of items that I got from, from this site. Again, I compare this site more to Wish than to Shein, but it's like Wish removing the individual sellers having to mail stuff to you so you don't have to pay an extra $3 per item <laughs> for shipping. So that is awesome. Thank you uh, guys so much for watching. Tell me what you thought about all of this down in the comment section below. I'll try to put all the information I can in the description box, including Vessel of Blood's video. So you can go check out, and, you, and she had, like I said, she had more clothing. So you can go see what more of the clothing was like, if clothing is what interests you with this stuff. But yeah, tell me what you thought. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, of course you can give it a thumbs down and please tell us all about it in the comments below. And please subscribe to the channel. And I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we're living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye. I have purple all over my hands from dyeing my hair earlier. <laughs> Bye.